Welcome! In this video I will show you some low melting metals and alloys. Usually we think of metals being very sturdy, solid and difficult to melt without excessive heat. That is true for many metals like this stick of molybdenum that will first melt at over 4700 degrees Fahrenheit. But my butane blowtorch maxes out at around 3300 degrees Fahrenheit so I could heat it all day without melting a drop from it. But other metals can be melted using only hot water or even just the heat of your hand. More about that later. First, let's look at an alloy that will just melt in boiling hot water. This is Rose's metal, which is made of bismuth, lead and tin. My sample is eutectic, meaning it has the mixing ratio where all components melt at the lowest possible temperature. In this case at 203 degrees Fahrenheit, so boiling water at 212 should melt it. Well, it works. Boiling water is however not nice to move around, so let's try an alloy with a lower melting point. This is Wood's metal. It's similar to Rose's metal, except that half of the tin is replaced by cadmium. My sample should melt at around 158 degrees Fahrenheit, so I will try to cast it using a plastic cylinder. First, let me give the metal a little hot tub bath in time lapse. And now for the casting. The water is not boiling, but it's hot enough to burn me, so I'll be somewhat careful. It's probably at this point I should mention that wood's metal does not shrink when it solidifies. So I'm up for challenge to get it out of the mold. The little piece came out easily, the big one not. After a little aggression therapy I brought out the right tool for the job. I'm obviously not a master caster. There are holes in my casting. I should have tapped the mold to get all water bubbles out. Ah well. These metals have low melting points and are dense and cheap. The downside is that they are not exactly healthy. Lead and cadmium are considered toxic, so wash your hands after handling these and don't melt them using a naked flame. Especially cadmium fumes are bad for you. So it would be nice to find a non-toxic alternative with even lower melting points. The solution is Fields Metal. Fields Metal is a fusible alloy of indium, bismuth and tin. It melts at 144 degrees Fahrenheit and all components are non-toxic. I like this alloy, so easy to melt and very shiny. Uh oh, that got angry quickly. Let me just cool it a bit. Watch this pretend it is mercury. Liquid metal moves so beautifully. Here are a few clips for you. Eventually it hardens again, so let's move on to an even easier meltable alloy. The indium content of Fields Metal seems to lower the melting point, so what happens if we mix some indium with the elements in Wood's Metal? Well, we get an alloy with an even lower melting point that has been used in ceiling mounted fire sprinklers. The heat from a fire will melt this alloy and open a hole for the water to come out of. 
This alloy is really easy to melt. No need for near boiling water. My sample is not perfectly eutectic. It is first fully melted at 126 degrees Fahrenheit, but isn't completely solidified until cooled to 117 degrees Fahrenheit. In between, it's semi-liquid. Compared to Fields metal, it is not really that awesome to look at. Alright, just a quick summary before we go into the metals that can be melted in your hands. Fields metal is expensive due to the cost of indium, but it still is my favorite. This is gallium, a metal most famous for its low melting point. This will melt in your hand, although on a cold winter day it takes a little patience. But you can see that some of it is melted. Gallium is not toxic, but when molten it wets almost everything, glass, your hand and so on. But you can buy this special vacuum ampule with high purity gallium. The glass is treated with what I believe is gallium oxide, so the gallium does not stick to this glass and you have a beautiful mercury substitute. Cesium is much easier to melt by hand. Its melting point is only a few degrees lower than gallium, but it makes a big difference when using such a weak heat source. Cesium's fantastic color is hard to capture on video, but hopefully you can tell that this is something special. Cesium is expensive, but cheap compared to gold. Ok, get ready to go into the Sub-Zero extremes. There are not many metals that melt below zero degrees, but mercury is well known for it. Mercury stays molten until close to minus 40 degrees, which is quite fantastic for metal. I wish it wasn't so stupidly toxic. My dirty sample isn't the best, but at least the glass fragments makes the motion in the mercury easy to see. Interestingly, mercury can dissolve a lot of different metals in so-called amalgams. If you combine mercury with the even more toxic metal thallium, you get an alloy with a melting point of minus 72 degrees Fahrenheit. This is utilized in low temperature thermometers. I don't have a mercury thallium thermometer, but luckily there's a great guy running the website periodictable.ru where he shows some stunning element samples. He let me use these pictures of his special thermometers. In comparison, my mercury thermometer only goes to minus 19 degrees Celsius or minus 2 degrees Fahrenheit. For the final, let me just tell you about the record holder, the lowest melting metal. I was expecting this to be some sort of mercury alloy, but no, it's actually an alloy of alkali metals. I don't have a sample of it, it is very reactive and has found no practical uses to my knowledge. But this metal melts at an unbelievable minus 108 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 78 degrees Celsius. So far we haven't found a metal alloy with lower melting point. Maybe if I could get some francium. I guess that's all for now. Hope you have enjoyed it and care enough to press the like button. Thank you for watching and a special thanks to my kind and generous donators who donated on my channel. This video would not have been the same without you.